a uh, quick review of this uh, SQ8 Mini DV camera uh, I got a little bit ago. I, I was looking for something really small I could put in the cockpit, but this isn't really practical. Um, and, and it's, I don't know, it's, it seems to be a little bit flaky. I think it's because it's really easy to, uh, to hit those buttons. And uh, uh, if you just want to clip it to your shirt and uh, pretend you're uh, Maxwell Smart, Ah, it's kind of a fun little toy, but uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna get stupendous video out of it. But it is uh, it does what they say it'll do. Uh, it records at 15 frames per second. It's not 30 frames, and uh, it, it will record at 1080p. But again, it's uh, uh, it's 15 frames, not 30 frames per second. And you know when you're walking around and it's jumping around like this, the the video gets really choppy. Uh, so. It has limited use, but it is a fun little toy. Uh, on the front here, there are uh, uh, infrared LEDs that, that will illuminate a very uh, uh, close object. So if you wanted to record something at night that was important to you, uh, it does work. And uh, later uh, in the video, I'll, I'll turn those on. The, the, the CCD and the camera that I'm using is is sensitive to the IR light. You can't see them with a human eye, but the, the camera will pick them up. But anyway, uh, on the uh, on the top of the camera, uh, that's your user interface. Uh, you've got a uh, a mode button and a power button, and then there's a, a light uh, right there uh, that indicates kind of what it's doing. And uh, don't bother reading the manual. Uh, uh, it looks like uh, you know someone Asian or Greek or Russian or something uh, tried to translate the the instructions into English and they're just unintelligible. Uh, they're beyond unintelligible. It's just they, they make no sense whatsoever. Uh, you'll uh, uh, you can either you, uh, follow the instructions on here or uh, a few other people on YouTube have uh, have done a pretty good job of uh, explaining how it actually works. Uh, to turn it on, uh, you hold the power button down. Uh, you'll get a red light, and then it'll sh uh, show uh, magenta, and then it'll turn uh, uh, blue like that. That means that uh, uh, it's in standby, and it's uh, currently in 720p mode. Press the mode button once, and it turns magenta. Uh, that magenta light means that it's in uh, 1080p mode. Press it again. It goes to photo mode and then back to 720 and 1080p and it just cycles through like that. To uh, turn the uh, IR light on, the, uh, the night recording mode, you uh, hold the, uh, uh, the power button down for two seconds. And you can see on the front there that uh, it's lit up. Now I can't see that with my own eyes, but the, uh, the camera's CCD is sensitive enough to uh, infrared that it can uh, it can actually tell that those lights are uh, are on. Uh, to turn that back off, uh, just hold down the uh, power button for uh, two seconds, and it shuts off. And you're back to uh, 720. Photo, 720, 1080p. And that's about the extent of the uh, the user interface. Okay, uh, to turn it off, uh, you hold the power button down, and it will flash like that. Keep holding it, it shuts off. That's about all there is to it. Uh, the uh, uh, side here uh, has a port for the, uh, uh, the SD card, and uh, it's a proprietary cord uh, for the, uh, the camera. Uh, it's not a, a real USB. Uh, it comes with this cord that that plugs into uh, to here uh, like that, and then on the end here, uh, you can plug that in. That's just a composite video out. Uh, why they did it that way, I don't know, but uh, that that's a composite video out, and uh, that is a standard USB, and it just uh, mounts on your computer like a regular thumb drive, and uh, uh, you can copy the videos off of it from that. Uh, it does uh, record in uh, AVI. It doesn't record uh, MP4 files. I imagine they did that to, to cut down on uh, on uh, processor horsepower because AVI isn't really uh, all that compressed. Uh, on the side here, uh, right beside where that uh, proprietary uh, 
USB um, port is, uh, is also where you put your uh, uh, SD card, your micro SD card. It'll take up to a, a 32 gig card, which is uh, what I have in there. Um, I, I did read some reports online, uh, people uh, putting it in the wrong way. Uh, maybe they put it in crooked or something, and it, and it actually fell inside the camera. It may have been a, just a faulty camera, I don't know. Uh, I didn't run into that issue. Uh, I think the easiest thing to do is when, you, when you're putting that in, uh, just look in, uh, inside that, that hole where the uh, contacts are that meet up with the contacts on the card and you can figure out which uh, which direction it goes in uh, uh, you have to kinda you know really dig in there with your fingernail to to push it in and, and lock it in but uh, once it's in there it's in there to stay comes with a, uh, a little clip that uh, mounts onto the uh, camera like so and this part uh, rotates uh, I will say that this clip it's just a little bit too small uh, unless you've got really tiny hands uh, it's hard to get in there and clip it on anything and uh, they should have I don't know that uh, this should have been more of a claw than an alligator if you know what I mean uh, yeah it, it doesn't hold on to anything but cloth real well so it's really difficult to get it to clip onto something it uh, it does come with this little mount now granted you're probably not going to use this as a dash cam because the quality isn't that great uh, but it does come with this little mount if you want to mount it on your uh, dashboard or uh, your desk or whatever. Uh, the uh, recording time as far as uh, uh, battery life, I, I've only used it for about half an hour. Uh, the uh, And there's no way to tell what the battery charge is. Uh, the The only way to tell is, is through that LED. It's either f fully charged or not charged. Uh, so it, it's hard to, I've never uh, run it long enough to uh, uh, to deplete the battery, so it'll last at least half an hour. Uh, this mount doesn't uh, articulate all, a full 90 degrees either, so not sure how useful that is, but you know, if you wanted to use it on your desk or something, you could figure something out. Uh, so yeah, it, it's not going to be super useful for anything but just goofing around, uh, and you know, it, you can clip it to your... Uh, to your shirt or something. Uh, it, it's heavy enough though that uh, uh, you know it's it's going to flop down like this uh, uh, if you clip it to your like a polo shirt or something. Uh, if you clip it to your belt it would probably work but then it's going to be jumping around like this while you're walking so there again uh, you know in, in theory it's 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 kind of a fun little spy camera thingy but uh, and it, <laughs> it's pretty amazing that you can get HD video out of something so tiny, and, and I'll include some uh, uh, some 1080p video that I did in really bright sunlight to, just to show the uh, it actually can record decent quality video, all, albeit at a, at a pretty slow frame rate. Uh, but you know, for uh, I, I think I paid 20 20 bucks uh, and change for it. It's a fun little toy. Just don't just don't expect miracles. One other thing I wanted to add real quick was uh, uh, be careful. Uh, it's pretty easy to brush up against those uh, buttons uh, on your clothing or, you know, bumping into something or whatever, or even just, you know, handling it while you're trying to get it mounted. Uh, you can accidentally uh, turn the recording off and then all your uh, effort was for nothing. A and you can't tell <laughs> if, it's, uh, uh, if it's stopped recording. Uh, if that if you can't see that light right there uh, because it, it, the, that light is actually off while it's recording unless you can see the light if that light comes on that means it's not recording uh, so uh, uh, you'll either want to be able to see that or just be careful not to uh, to brush up against those so my I guess my final uh, verdict on this is uh, it's a fun toy and for its size I mean, you are getting 1080p video out of that. Uh, um, it's not super quality 1080p, and it's only 15 frames per second, but for a camera that tiny, it is pretty impressive. Uh, you're just not going to be recording the next blockbuster on it because it's just the video quality isn't super great, especially in low light. It, it's, it, it's quite terrible. Uh, but it, it's a fun toy. Uh, and for 20 bucks, eh, it's cool. Uh, one other uh, thing uh, I forgot to mention before 
uh, when you're charging this, uh, keep an eye on it. It gets unbelievably hot. Uh, it, it gets so hot that, uh, you know, if you've left it in for about, you know, say two, three hours, uh, you can't touch it. It's so hot. Uh, when you're recording, it, it's fine. It, it gets a little warm, uh, like most anything would, but it, it's not uncomfortable or unsafe. But uh, when you're charging this, I, I would suggest maybe putting it on a dinner plate or a piece of metal. Uh, like, I can't uh, stress enough, be careful when you're charging this thing because it gets crazy hot. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem to affect anything. But uh, just for safety's sake, uh, uh, set it on something that, that's not going to melt uh, or, uh, or catch fire because it, it will get really hot. Uh, I don't think it's you know a problem with the camera. I think it's just the way it is. But just be careful because it, it does get extremely hot. And don't charge it for more than two or three hours uh, just for safety's sake. So I, uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.